Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison here of Suomi's. So this is actually a Danish model of 1941 true, honest Suomi submachine gun. It is mechanically identical to the standard Finnish KP-31 platform. It just has a little bit nicer stock design, got some protector wings on the front sight, few little details that the Danes wanted. This was produced at the Madsen or Masson company. And then we are going to compare that to this guy. This is a Stempel 7645 built in Suomi configuration. Uh, this is built on a transferable Stempel receiver tube and it was built up using Suomi parts, the Suomi stock, Suomi barrel shroud, and the way that Stempel's kind of universal takedown gun was done was using Suomi bolts. So I'm really curious, this should be very similar to the experience of shooting an actual Suomi. The most substantial mechanical difference between the two is that the Stempel receiver is actually a little bit longer than a real Suomi receiver. And I will go out on a limb and make a prediction here. I suspect that this, as a result, will shoot slightly more slowly and perhaps have even less felt recoil because the longer receiver is going to give the bolt a little bit more space and time to travel and decelerate. So that'll slow down the rate of fire. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Danish gun here. I have... All right, true to a Suomi, very high rate of fire, very controllable. Um, now, let's see how the Stempel version compares. All right, now the Stempel has a side charging handle. That shouldn't really impact the mechanical performance, but it does make it handle a little bit differently. There we go, we're on full auto. Oh, that's so cool. That is like the exact same handling as a real Suomi. Um, my prediction appears to have been substantially wrong in that this doesn't fire slower, uh, at least not to my ear and feel, than the real Suomi. It's controllable. It is. Ah, it's fantastic. I love it. Just to make sure, let's go back to option A for a moment. I really, really like Suomi <laughs> submachine guns, if it's not totally obvious already. Let's see, what do we have left on this guy? This thing is almost empty, and it would be really, like, I already threw away the boxes that the ammo was in, so I kind of have to empty the drum. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I should actually point out one of the other little differences here, just a minor handling difference. The true Suomis, both Danish and Finnish, have a protective guard behind the mag release so that you don't accidentally bump it. The Stempel does not. Uh, note that we looked at this when we took a look at these guns side by side on the, uh, on the workbench, but in order to accommodate the difference in location of the disconnect or of the sear holes in the receivers, the Stempel receiver is a bit longer and it has to have a little over an inch extra space added here. So BRP making these guns went ahead and made this block a bit longer. All right, I know you guys. And I know that you will not be satisfied if we don't do a mag dump, but I am not loading an entire new 71 round drum for you guys, uh, but I will empty out this one, which has got to have at least 30 or 40 rounds in it still. So uh, you want the handling of a Suomi today without having to first find a Suomi, which is really quite scarce in original intact registered form, and then pay for a Suomi, well, 
the BRP Stemple guns in Suomi kit. They're not quite exactly the same. Charging handle's different, little slight differences, but man, the exact same shooting experience.